Alan Wolhart has lived with AIDS for 22 years. He recalls what it was like to worry about the infection in the early times of the disease. In those days, people, uh, most of the gay community were afraid to take the test. Um, and they were afraid to take the test because they might find out that they were. So ignis, ignorance was bliss. Um, I probably was infected many years before uh, I was tested. Woolhart says the first medication came out about the same time he was diagnosed and it made him sick. But this wasn't the only battle AIDS patients faced. Back in the early days, I stopped going to funerals when I lost my 50th friend. Dr. Michael Sag is the director of the UAB Center for AIDS Research. He has studied HIV AIDS since the beginning and says it was tough to watch so many lose their fight. I felt like every time a patient died, a part of me died with them. Uh, went to funerals and, and after a while it just became overwhelming to watch so many young people die. SAG says with all the discoveries in the past 30 years, everything has changed. With the medications that we now have, if someone is diagnosed early enough and they get into care and they take their medicines, they will live a normal lifespan and that's just remarkable. And while it can be managed now, patients like Woolhart still hope for a cure. Back in my early days, there were posters that said, be there for the cure. It wasn't, it didn't say, be there for the um, treatable disease. Uh, and I don't know how I can express that any better.